so I've never done this. So this is very weird for me. Got my glam squad. <laughs> Shake out the nerves. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What you got there? My little clacker. <laughs> Tammy Blackwell, take 25. Smile a little bit, Tammy, when you do it. It's not painful. I know, I know. Lisa Grace, take 20. Michelle Zaccone, take 40. All right, Cassandra Godhart, five years. Have a little fun with it. Take five. <laughs> take five. 20 years at Inspira, Don Gafredo's debut. Action. It can hide my face. <laughs> It'll be 50 years, and honestly, it doesn't feel like 50 years because I've enjoyed it. That's why I'm still here. I remember the first day of work because the charge nurse for the home hospital, she wore a starched white hat on, white stockings with a little heel in her shoe. Yeah, she reminded me of Mother Mary Conception. A grown up Catholic school, you know, she was very strict. I became a Laugh tech, and it was rewarding because you were behind the scenes, but you know that you were part of the whole picture. I am celebrating 15 years here at Inspira, and I remember getting my five year, and then 10 year, and then it's like, oh, all of a sudden in the mail, here comes my pretty little box with my plaque and everything else. When I got my little box in the mail, I was like, it's been five years, I had to count it because I was not sure that it was actually five years. It's like a blink, and now I'm here. <laughs> I'm here because I got 35 years here in Spira. What is this? I think this is a mistake. It's a mistake because I'm only 32. <laughs> <laughs> when I first started working here, a lady was working there that was 40, 45 years, and I just say to her, you've been working here longer than I've been living. And now they're saying it to me. <laughs> so I am an ER tech here, um, and I've been here longer than this building, 20 years. I'm proud to say that I have been here to see uh, Inspira grow into a huge network that serves multiple counties and thousands of people. I just persevered and I was able to make 15 years that way. So my co-workers then became my friends and then they became part of my family. So what keeps me here is the people I work with. Um, we are like a little family. I just feel like we're here for the people. It's the people. Yeah, I think it's the people. Oh, the people are the only reason why I'm here. The people and the patients. Probably a lot of people say that, but I love being at an organization where no matter what building I'm in, I always see people that I feel connected to. Jim, he's a character. When he when he first started, I liked to mess with him. Matt Brown? Uh, Can you tell me a little bit about him? What, is he, what does he do exactly? Matt Brown? <laughs> yeah. He's the Sounds familiar. Oh, you know what? There was this. Jim, congratulations <laughs> on five years. Oh, you're yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm happy this to guy. Have you here. I appreciate I'm it. glad we were able to bring you into this. That's why it sounded familiar. I taught this guy everything he knew <laughs> when I came to Ops Consulting. Amy, how are you? Thank you. <laughs> Being him as a person, he talks to every single person. He makes every single person feel welcome. What keeps me here is the people and the culture, really. <laughs> I'm very grateful for um, the people that I've come to know, the friends I've developed in the past five years. They're more than just coworkers. They're close friends, they become family. What makes Inspira especially special is we are a community system. We are treating our friends, we're treating our pastors, we're treating our neighbors, our male people, and I think that's what really makes it special. And we um, go through obstacles together. Um, you know, we have mission and values here and in spirit and we follow that. In 2016, I had a house fire and I lost everything. And Inspira was great. All of my coworkers, people I didn't even know, came out, helped me. Inspira is very special to me because they brought my kids safely into the world. All three of them, this is my third one. <laughs> and then, you know, along with those good times, there's also sad times. My father was diagnosed with um, stage three melanoma in January. He was here on two east that I worked on and he received the best care. 
while he was here. And it made us feel special. It made us feel all the kindness. All the kindness that they gave us just gave us hope. One truly special moment. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My sister got sick. I told them, bring her here. Just seeing how Inspira encapsulates family and what it means to have people with you, um, whether it be as an employee, as a patient, um, I really can't say more about Inspira because of it. I was diagnosed with cancer in April. Everybody from administration to co-workers <clears throat> have been supportive and the thoughts, the prayers, um, <clears throat> has helped me through. When we say that we're here for each other, it really showed. Well, I kind of feel a little selfish, but one of my best memories was um, 2012, I was employee of the year and uh, my family was invited and it was very special to me. So actually this year I was um, a nurse of the year for my floor and that moment was really special. That was exciting. I met my husband here. He was an ER nurse. He was actually finishing up his nurse practitioner, his master's degree. So we met, um, he actually kept asking me out. I kept telling him no. And I was like, I'm good. I don't date people I work with, I'm good. And then I finally said yes, we went out and now we've been married three years. Just had our first baby in May, Eloise. She's five months old. And it's been, we've been together ever since. Like back when Newcomb was open, we used to have uh, wheelchair races in the basement. You know, almost like, you know, uh, like the demolition derby or you know riding IV poles down the hallways you know you got to find one that's got good wheels because if it has one of them shopping cart wheels you're gonna jam up and you're gonna fall right off every once in a while I still may do that here but maybe we had built a um, high-rise parking garage so when it when we had the first snowstorm what do you think we did we went outside with the food um, trays and slid down the top part of the parking garage like it was a sled it's very professional. <laughs> Don't put that one in. <laughs> Hello, I'm Hispanic. Of course I have moves. And then we always end it, whippa! <laughs> no, no, no! Working at Inspira, I've had a lot of opportunities to learn more and increase my skills. With the tuition reimbursement program that they offer and the partnership with RCSJ, it's really helped me to um, achieve that goal of obtaining my RN. Inspira actually gave me tuition to go to nursing school. I was able to use that and uh, I graduated in 2020 with my BSN from the University of Alabama. So now I can just focus on getting the degree done, getting the certifications done, and continuing to be a great therapist for Inspira. Inspira paid for my way and a um, little bit smarter, I guess. <laughs> such an amazing place to be and for everybody celebrating an anniversary I know that they feel the same way I do. It's just an honor for all of us to you know, be here whether we we're five years or 50 years. Congratulations and I'm happy that we're here together. It feels awesome to be recognized. I almost feel like a superstar. Being honored for 20 years is a great humbling experience. Thank you to the whole organization for supporting me and, you know, giving me the ability to grow with Inspira. I want to say thank you to all my co-workers and my team. We have an amazing team. This is where I'm going to stay because I love it here. <laughs> Inspira has been a great place to work and just the culture, we tend to make sure that Everyone that works here fits into this culture of caring, compassion, service. So congratulations on whatever years you're celebrating. I know you will continue to enjoy working at Inspira. So 40 years, a lot of experience, a lot of great times. Cheers to 40 years!
caught. Okay. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and that's a million dollars, right? I get that check. That's a wrap, kiddo.